A state Supreme Court justice stopped short of a gag order in an ongoing drug and sex trafficking case. News 4 reported on a mistrial in the case in May. Defense attorney Mark Satcha shared his concerns about that decision earlier this month. A day later, the DA's office filed a motion to stop him from speaking to the media. News 4's Jen Shantz tells us what was said in court today and why it's so important to the case. Jen. Christy, State Supreme Court Justice William Buller did not issue a gag order against Mark Satcha, but he did remind attorneys on both sides to adhere to state rules of professional conduct. That means not speaking to the press in any way that could hurt the court's ability to secure an impartial jury. This all started last month, as you mentioned, when a witness in the trial against Miguel Perea made claims that Perea told her he had sold drugs on several occasions to Judge McLeod, who was presiding over the case at the time. The people requested a mistrial. While Judge McLeod said in court the allegations are false and without merit, he granted a mistrial anyway. Since then, Satcha has appeared on our air claiming the mistrial was concerning. He says it was the prosecution's way of getting out of a case it was going to lose. Now, we asked Satcha if he believes he's violated the rules of conduct reiterated by Justice Buller today. I don't believe I have, no. Absolutely. Everything I've said was true. And I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to deny that I have. Uh, uh, indicated that the DA's office is trying to prevent myself and my client from exercising our constitutional right to free expression. Again, the DA's office has maintained that gag order, which was not officially granted, aims to protect future jurors. The DA will not comment on this case until the trial is over. This case is set for a new trial in state Supreme Court, which Justice Buller will preside over July 23rd. Jen Schantz, News 4.